How cute is that? It's an ostrich. It's pulling a cart. I love it. It's sold for. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. It is time for another Bolo category video, and we are going to talk about toys, but not just any toys. These are 10 toys, and some of them go for big money. So let's check it out here. I've got some tabs pulled up. I have verified these with feedback. So these are good sales. And we're going to start here with the first one. That sold for $424.62 on auction. It is a um, 10 Litho wind up Marks Popeye and Olive Dance Jig Marks Original. Now, I will tell you that it seems like Marks, M A R X, is a good brand for these to pick up. Um, you're going to see some others that have sold by that brand. But these are 10, and a lot of times they have condition issues. This one looks to be mechanical. Um, let me show you. Here is the bottom, made in the USA. Um, but they will still sell for big money even if they have condition issues. So if you see any of these little toys, definitely uh, Google Lens will pick them up. Definitely look them up. Uh, Google Lens will give you like a base and then you can start searching comps on eBay. That's how I do it. Um, ask us, ask, ask, uh, Kusa, ask a Kusa, <laughs> ASA, KUSA. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Toy 10 figure, eight man flying from the 1960s. It's a vintage wind up toy. So you can see right here, it looks like it's a, it hangs. I'm not seeing where it actually, oh, it's got the little key there to wind it up. This one sold for $741 plus shipping. And you can see here, if I typed in 10 and then I went in, let me see if I can find it now. I think this was the one that I verified on. Maybe it's the next one. Let me look here. What's this one? There was actually one that I had to delete because it was an old listing. Let's see. Let's go in here and look at this. Look at this guy. We'll just look at him because there's feedback on him and he sold for 335. I don't know if I show him later or not, but 1913 layman daredevil German tin wind up. How cool is that? But um, if you look at this feedback, this is another great way to, um, ooh, let's not look at that feedback. That didn't look good. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Shooting Cowboy 10 Litho Toy 1950s Japanese in original box sold for $1,225. So some of these 10 toys go for thousands of dollars. Just unbelievable. So I'm guessing you wind it up and they pop out maybe. This would be a great item to have a description down in the video. And I know that eBay is now offering um, for you to put a video up with the photos. So anything like this, I would encourage you to include a video because I think that would be really a great selling point. The next item is this uh, 1950s Yonazawa, Yonazawa. <laughs> 10 Friction Lincoln Sun Deck Convertible Concept Car. This one sold for $1,525. How cool is that? Um, vintage, uh, actually, this one's antique. 1906, 10, six, 10 toy, caret. Oh, there's a lot of words there. I don't know. Germany Clockwork, $1,576. For this one, look at that. Is that incredible or what? That's 1906. Wow. Very, very cool. It's got some wear to it, but it's really old. So that is definitely a big money right there. Here's one that is Meyer, M E I E R, German Boy Scout and Dog 10 Penny Toy, original Litho. 
uh, $2,424 on this. So I think, is this the one where you put the coin in and it actually does something? Um, you do have to be careful with some of those because there are repops, um, reproductions. And uh, I mean, this one's obviously not a reproduction, but just be careful when you're looking for those. And I think you can tell by the screws and there's different things. I remember researching it a while back, but um, um, if it has like modern screws in it, then I, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a long time ago since I researched it, but definitely look into that. Um, if you think it could be a reproduction vintage 1930s German tin plate wind up toy touring car with driver $2,520. And these are just incredible. Very cool. Lots of good photos. Um, and it does say that it's missing parts <laughs> and uh, does mo does work motor good driving missing an arm. <laughs> wow. That's a crazy amount of money, right? Okay. So this is a rare China 10 B slash O M E six, three, four trolley bus. I don't know exactly what all that means. Maybe that's the information here on it. Looks like they've got the original boxes and I don't know about you. This sold on best offer, but I really want to know what this sold for. So I'm going to show you guys how to figure it out. So I copied that title and I went into Terapeak and I put that title in the search bar and it pulled up two identical listings. So the first one I'm guessing did not get paid for and they relisted the item, took a best offer of $4,000. And you're like, come on. And I'm like, yeah, for real. And then I show you right here that it was paid for. Very good goods, good services and good sellers. There you have it right there. Oh, look at this, $4,410. Oh my goodness. Wow. So very cool. Um, this one uh, was sold in another country, but you can see right here, approximately US. It tells us right here what, if it was in our currency, what we would have paid. But this is an FIJ France Alpha Romeo Grand Prix racing car. It's a 10 racing car from 1932. So very cool. Okay, here's the one I showed you guys with the little zebra. Now look at this one. How cute is that? It's an ostrich. It's pulling a cart. I love it. It sold for $290. And they have this dated antique 1889 to 1913. And then you got this one is from the 1920s. It's a 10 litho wind up toy railroad. So I'm guessing you wind it up and maybe they teeter totter again. It would be really cool to see some videos of these. Um, let me see if they have anything. Nope, no video. Uh, I would love to see a video. I, that would be like a cool YouTube channel, right? Just these old wind up toys. Vintage 1913 Lehman number 680, 10 Litho wind up Germany mule pulling man in a cart. So should be pretty easy to look some of these up. Um, and uh, if not, Google Lens is probably going to pick it up. And if you guys aren't using Google Lens, it is a free app. It's completely free and such a great reseller tool. I remember hearing people talking about it. I'm like, what is that? I don't understand. Um, and now I know. Uh, a pre-war Japanese 10 wind-up seesaw ball players. Look at that. It's got a ball. I bet it goes back and forth. That is super cool. $453.63 for that one. 10 friction supercycle from the 1950s. Australian made motorcycle worldwide shipping. I, I don't encourage you to put worldwide shipping in your title. I don't think it's necessary. Um, maybe there's a rhyme or reason that they do it. If you do this, and you think there's a good reason, let me know in the comments. This sold for $97.99. Mark's 10 Wonder Cyclists sold for $118.50. So another Mark's. Early German 10 Penny Toy, Nodding Elephant Pulling Cart. And it says Wagon Meyer, question mark. So I'm, I don't know what the penny means. $95 on that one. This is cool. Old German Meyer, again, question mark, probably the same seller. 10 penny toy merry-go-round. How cool is that? I just, I just think they're cool. $125.
Here is a antique German, again, Meyer question mark, 10 penny toy, early gnomes, men's sawing wood. This one sold for $105. And look, it's got rust, doesn't matter, still sold. This guy's cool. Man boy on sled, 10 penny litho toy. Nice, $170.50. I don't know if that's complete or that, yeah, it might be pretty cool, right? Look at this guy. Old Litho Monkey on Wheels. German 10 penny toy. Works nice. $730. Wow. It's fantastic, right? Let's go in. If you go into the bid history, you can see at what they started the auction at. And they started it at $130. This one is an early German pressed metal tin cat with caged mouse on wheels. Hand painted and works. $260. Again, I want to see a video. Um, I just sold something. Cha-ching. All right. Original Antique Gerard, G-I-R-A-R-D company, 10 wind-up toy, Litho Man pushing cart. Works nice. Um, I don't know how they know the brand. Again, you know, I'm thinking Google Lens is going to probably pull up comparables. This is where WorthPoint is going to be a fantastic tool. For these older items that are harder to find, um, you may not be able to find comps on Terapeak and eBay, and you're going to need WorthPoint. Um, if you want to know more about WorthPoint, I do have a video on that, and I tell you why I think WorthPoint is worth it, and I do have a referral link down below if you guys want to check it out. Early German Woman in Sled, 10 Penny Toy Original, $513.79 plus shipping. Another thing you can do on WorthPoint is you can go in and you can search solds highest first. And it's a great way to um, educate yourself. Like if you put in um, tin, vintage tin toy or, you know, and then searched high to low, it's going to give you some good keywords and different things to look at that may not be on eBay. Antique German rooster pecking Meyer question mark. 10 penny litho toy, 180 50 on that one. So these, these do things. So lots of fun there. This is Fred Flintstone riding a, a dino and it's by Marks uh, and it's 111 59 it sold for. Very cool. This one here is a 10 wind up Mike Mallard climbing fireman lineman Japan. Excellent. And ah, Somebody, there's got to be one person that did a video. So when I add a video to my description, right up here under the condition where a lot of people will put defects and stuff, I will put C video in description because I'm looking at this and then I would see it like right in this area. Let's see, did any of these have it? I know I saw one where somebody put notes. I'll show you where I'm talking about. Maybe I will. Was it down here? I thought, for, okay, right here. So condition. Now, if you're listing on the app, you can't add this here. Uh, you have to go onto your desktop, but there are scratches and dirt. So right here, I would put, please see video in description. And then that'll guide people down to look at my video. Okay, we've got this right here. Moon Mullins and K.O. Smith wind up hand car tin toy, 1930s, and it works. And the last one here is this vintage tin wind-up Donald Duck Acrobat toy by Marks with the original box, $194.49 on that one plus shipping. And I don't think I told you what this one sold for. The C or I'm sorry, it's the hand car sold for $213.50. All right, you guys, what did you think about those tin toys? Pretty cool, right? Um, I feel like these are things you're probably going to see more at estate sales or maybe like a flea market that specializes in things like this. Um, are you going to see them at thrift stores? I mean, maybe, but um, like, I feel like these are going to come from collectors. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've ever found any of these and if you've sold them. And if you sold them, did you sell them for big money? All right, you guys, thanks so much. Leave me an emoji of an owl. Ooh, ooh. Thanks for watching.